I recently was looking at pictures of myself from 30 years ago. I had a mullet with the long hair. The style of clothing was embarrassing. Quote my kids, what were you thinking? Or more importantly, what were my parents thinking when they gave me that haircut? What they were thinking was, this is cool. This is modern. You are in fashion. But as we know, the fashion trends change. And we look back at them in horror to think that people actually walk around like that. Shabbat Shalom. In this week's Torah portion of Parshat Turumah, God instructs Moses to build a sanctuary, the Mishkan. He instructs him to take gold and silver and wood and fabrics. And then God tells Moses, V'chein ta'asu, do it as I have instructed. And the question is, why the need for the Torah to make that line? Surely, if God instructs Moses, this is what you need to do, Moses will do it. He will not change left to right. So what is the fear that God had for him to issue the instruction of Cain Tasu? And the answer, very simply, is that too often we pepper our motives with self-interest. We think to ourselves, this is a great idea, but really, if we want to make it meaningful, we need to do it like this. We add something of ourselves. We think that if we put this in, our ideas will endure, like my haircut. But it doesn't. Times change, and fashion changes. And so the Torah tells us the following principle. The chen ta'asu. Do it as I instructed. Because you're not building for now, you're building for eternity. And who knows what the fashion trends will be then? Who knows what the modernist or postmodernist art forms will be? Build it as I am instructed, and it will endure forever. When we think about this, we need to understand that there are timeless values in our Torah. When we try to play with those values and try to imbue them with our own understandings, it might inspire us for now, but certainly will not inspire future generations. When we keep things on the same, this is what we've done, it creates a paradigm for the future. says God, build the structure so that no matter who walks in, which generation walks in, they can feel connected to their past and their future. Create the covenantal community that exists beyond space and time and bad haircuts. Shabbat Shalom. Hi, this is Rabbi Lua. And if you've enjoyed the content of the sermons and the ideas that have been expressed in the YouTube video, please hit that first subscription button and notification bell and share the videos with friends. We'd love to grow the channel and love to engage with you. Please share your comments in the section below. I'd love to hear from you. Have an amazing day.